Hi guys, so I'm Maria Gabriel and welcome to my channel. And over here we have the lovely Babe. We've been planning it for like nearly a year. It's just, yeah, life happens. She has a busy schedule. Yeah, uh, it's okay. And you, you as so well. Popular. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you as well, like it's yeah. it's just you understand guys, you understand life yes, happens. Yes, and yes. can't even go into it right now, but yes, <laughs> life happens. That's another video. That's it, doing. it's another video. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So, yeah. so Faith, tell us a little bit about your channel. Okay, so my channel is called Being Faith and it focuses on hair, on lifestyle, and of course food. I love food. Um, no, I like food. I was just say I love food. I like mm -hmm. food. Um, and yeah, it's all things fun. It's for everyone. And so please do come on over once you subscribe to this yes. channel, if you haven't already, and pop over to mine. Make sure as well. you subscribe. Yes. yes. Subscribe button. Yeah. So guys, in this video, we are going to be talking about the 10 things that we have learned in 2017. Mm -hmm. So the 10 things that we have learned in this year mm -hmm. that has kind of just shaped mm -hmm. our year and mm -hmm. has just kind of, yeah, just what we gained. Because as the year draws to a close, yeah. it's always nice at this time of year to just yeah. kind of Be reflect yeah. on what we've gained yeah. and just kind of even help, you know, to help us to kind of propel forward into yeah. the coming new year. We've got five different categories basically yes. we're going to be talking about um things that we've learned spiritually things that we've learned um in our finances and career mm -hmm. uh things that we've learned in health what we've learned about marriage yes. and also just friendships, friendships. because yeah. we kind of figured out that those are probably yeah. the five most important categories yeah. in life you know mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. faith family yeah finances you know yes. so, okay what have you learned uh spiritually I was telling Maria that um, there was a friend of mine who is a pastor who I really admire and I think walks a lot of wisdom and I just really admire the way that he um, breaks down the world, you know, with so much insight. So I saw him at the beginning of this year and I said to him, I said, you know, you, I feel like you just walk in so much wisdom, where do you get that from? And notice I didn't say, oh, let me spend a week with you and glean as much wisdom. No, I wanted to know the source of where he gets that wisdom from. And um, I said, what do you do every, what do you do regularly to build up this knowledge and wisdom that you have? And he said to me that every year he takes time out to read the Bible cover to cover, from Genesis all the way to Revelation every single year. And he named a number of things that he does. So for me this year, I decided to read the Bible for the first time cover to cover and I used an app called uh, YouVersion and I'll mm -hmm. leave a link below yeah. in, in your channel as well. Mm -hmm. But I used that and for the first time I actually read the Bible cover to cover and I think some of the things I learned from the Bible um, have really transformed my life and I shared some with you off camera. but. It built in me discipline mm -hmm. because it takes a lot of discipline to read your Bible, mm -hmm. um, not just every single day, but to read it and study it, um, you know. And there were some days where it fell, mm -hmm. and I was five days behind, <laughs> and I'm like, oh Lord, help me. <laughs> but no, I got through it, and it's really transformed my life, um, and not so much, not so much me just saying, yeah, I've, I've read it, but I think it's more important the word mm -hmm. work it in your life and you applying what you've learned and so that's transformed me so anyone that wants to take that challenge in the next year trust me it is such a good challenge to take on you will grow you will see the benefits of it as well i think our next category is financial and career um so uh what, what about you how what would you say in terms of career career or finances mm -hmm. in this year what is what have you gained? Well, but I'm a young mummy of a daughter yeah. and um, again this links back to, to God as well. So I made a decision that once I had my daughter I still wanted to have a career but um, you know priority for me was being a mother and so that meant I had to change jobs because the, the work I was doing before was full time um, and I remember I was kind of in this rock and a high place and I was thinking God you know I really want to do my job but mm. I also know that you placed in me a desire to be a mother, a present mother mm. and um, 
so yeah so I, I kind of spoke to one of the ladies in church and um, she just encouraged me she said Faith don't be afraid to ask God for what you want and so I, I did I prayed and I got a job where you know my uh, it's a senior role I've got um, but I have the flexibility of working three days a week mm. so I get to spend um, time with my daughter I go to work early I can leave early mm. that when God gives you a blessing there's mm. also a responsibility with that so I'm not mm. going into work and just like taking the mick mm. you know um, I make sure I work hard I do things you know in a timely manner I, I work with good uh, you know with integrity and, and things like that but I think for me it's mm. I learned that Faith, don't be afraid to take the risk to ask for what you want. Mm. Um, you know, even in terms of pay and, and mm. things like that. Don't be afraid to trust God for things that seem Being impossible. Yes. Yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I think for me that was a key thing in terms of career this year mm -hmm. and for any mothers out there you know because you could be a stay-at-home mom there's nothing wrong with that and if that's what you choose fine but if you decide to work then that's fine but you just find out what God will have you do in this season of your life mm -hmm. and he'll make everything just work mm -hmm. just it will all fall in line you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in a way so yeah so number three is health um, and health wise um, I think you were, we were talking earlier about mental health mm. um, and I think that was what you was gonna yeah. say in terms of yeah, yeah. what have you gained from yeah. mental health yeah um, so I think for me um, this year in terms of health it's been about being mentally healthy um, I think sometimes we focus so much on the physical and oh you need to look the best and you need to have the fittest body and follow this person on Instagram and follow you know what they're doing fitness wise and everything but actually if you don't have a sound mind if your mind is not sound if you don't have peace if you don't have clarity um, it can really affect you you know um, and I think for me this year I've really focused on being healthy mentally having the right thoughts you mm. know saying sometimes i need help yeah. i need you know i need help yeah. you know so, you know and not being afraid to say that mm. um because a lot of times we we can sometimes have this facade where you need to be superwoman but being superwoman is also being mentally strong as well mm -hmm. you know and i think that's important so mm -hmm. that was a big thing for me this year you know with all the different things that were going on in our family and and things that we're going through i felt like my mental state was i had to ensure that i i, I rested you mm. know sometimes in fact simple things like sleeping mm. and not even just sleeping but resting because you can sleep and mm. still be restless yeah. you know what i mean i mean simple things like that helps your mental state you know yeah. so um yeah definitely i think for me in terms of health like when i was thinking when i was thinking about health what have i gained mm. first i was thinking you know uh, my plant plate, my plant based diet, you know, was a was a it, was, it started off really good, but then it was an epic flop around September time. I just it, you know, it just happened? went. What happened was it was my husband's birthday, and we had lots of we, this. Basically, this year the plan was to you know be really plant based, as in you know I don't want to say vegan because it you know it's a little bit different. Yeah, but it was basically vegan. vegan that was okay. the plan. That was okay. the plan. And my husband was proper on it. He was really, you know, he was really good. Yeah. But then for me, I, I, oh, I struggled from the beginning, you know. Uh, but it was okay. I did well. But then yeah. come September, it was his birthday, and because we had lots of food, mm. people brought food, and obviously there you was meat. Say no, no, no you could, it, we could not say no. It was, it was so tough, yeah. and. It, we just fell back and then for some reason almost like our craving for meat just became even stronger it came like back with a vengeance like yeah so yeah um oh. so new year we'll start again so you keep up with it yeah yeah well, because i i truly actually believe in mm. the plant-based diet it's uh, something i really believe in mm. for all sorts of reasons which is another video that has to be for video. another day you might convince yeah. actually no but we spoke about it and you actually convinced mm. me like mm. we Funny enough, from our conversation, remember we had a conversation a few months ago and you're telling me about this. And from that, I've reduced how much meat we're eating mm. actually. So I think you should do a video on it. Yeah. It might convince me more. 
<laughs> yeah, there are so many videos on YouTube about you know people. Well, you who, should do I will. I will also try it and just talk about it. Yes. But that's when I'm actually you know practicing what I preach, <laughs> <laughs> not just and not just talking. So <laughs> thing is um, marriage. Okay, so what have you gained from marriage? Mm. Or what have you learnt in this year about marriage? Wow, I've learned so much. Um, funny enough, we have been through a lot this year in terms of our family unit. We've had two bereavements in our family and that takes a toll that takes a toll on, on marriage whether you, you you know see or not it can be expressed in different ways mm. but i think what has kept us together and solid is the word that we got before we were married you know before before we entered into this union of marriage mm. um it was a word that we got and that's what's been our anchor mm. you know through everything and that's why i think it's important you know, you know who you're you're going to marry, and you ask God. Mm. You know, and we did, and we both got a word. Mm. It might not have been the same word in terms of you know we both got um, you know Psalm one one, <laughs> but God gave us words individually, yeah. and so when and He gave us words together. So I think that has kept us anchored you know and i was saying to you that it reminds me of the story in the bible where you know the person who built their house on the rock and the person who built their house on the sand mm -hmm. and when the winds and storms came because mm -hmm. you will have storms it says in the bible <laughs> you can rebuke it mm -hmm. bind it it says in the bible you will go through trials mm -hmm. and tribulations but god expects us to have joy he expects us to be thankful he's mm -hmm. he expects us to have a good attitude to it mm -hmm. because you know that this is going to pass you know mm -hmm. this too shall pass has been my motto for <laughs> a few months now mm -hmm. um because god has been faithful he's kept us you know we still somehow know how to love and please during the the, the times of hardship it's okay to laugh we mm -hmm. you know we, we laugh you know i laugh a lot anyway i laugh mm -hmm. at anything yeah. and i think and that comes from God that joy has literally been from God and I think that's what's kept our marriage together so having a word from God through the different seasons of marriage mm. is important and okay. so lastly yeah um, friendship so um, friendship I kind of I guess that kind of comes into marriage not mm. well not marriage but it comes into the category of family um, you know faith family finances yes. um so friendship what yeah. have you learned about friendship in this year mm, friendship i've learned so much i've learned that and i think i mentioned this before is um taking making time for friends because mm -hmm. you know aside from all the titles that you get of mother of you know manager or head of this or mm -hmm. you know leader in your church or whatever you are still a person i'm still faith you're still mm -hmm. maria mm -hmm. you know and friendships remind you of that friendships remind you of the different aspects of you aside the titles you know because mm -hmm. your friends will come to you and, and correct you straight away and put mm -hmm. you in line you know <laughs> and your friends will bring joy your friends will and and you need that i remember i went through a season i was thinking god having a friend oh you know but actually once i opened up my heart to to other things i got god is I've developed new mm. friendships, you know, and even the friendships I've had have gone to a new dimension mm. and it's learning to be vulnerable with those friendships mm. as well mm. and, and saying, I remember one friend of mine did something and it seemed so minute but mm. for the first time I had to be like, girl, I'm actually upset with you mm. <laughs> and be okay to say yes. that, you know, and we're still friends, she's still, in fact, I call her sister friend. Mm. Um, so yeah, and I think that's what I've learned in, in those friendships. Family is important. Never, I, I feel like sometimes you can get married and be like, oh, it's just me and my husband. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stay there. <laughs> you realize sooner or later, you need friendship, you need family. Mm -hmm. and, and when I say family, you need extended family. Yes, you have your unit and that's mm -hmm. important, but don't neglect the, the, the extended family. Okay, well guys, if you stay tuned, okay, and you switch over, yeah. to Faith's channel um, you'll hear more about more of the stuff that I because I know I've added to some of the stuff yes. that Faith has said but you'll hear more about what I have learned 
in 2017 yes. okay so um, make sure you subscribe yeah do not forget to hit that subscribe button yeah. and subscribe to my channel subscribe to Faith's channel right yeah now as you <laughs> switch over yeah. and yeah we'll catch you or i will catch you next time on another video take care guys bye, bye.